is Abby from the Elsie Bates Museum. Um, we're going to be talking about birds and their feathers. So mammals have fur and reptiles have scales and birds have feathers. And it's one of the things that makes birds really unique uh, because they're the only type of animal that have feathers. Now when we think of feathers, we probably think about flight, right? But birds also use their feathers for other things. Um, one of those other things is keeping warm. So here I have a container full of downy feathers. They're nice and fluffy. And if you have a downy feather jacket or blanket or pillow at home, you know that these things are really, really warm. So this, these feathers are um, layered underneath the contour feathers. Those are the outside feathers of a bird and they help trap air and insulate the bird. If you guys ever notice, you go out on a cold day and the little chickadees are all puffed up and they look all kind of chunky and cute. That's because they're puffing up their feathers and that helps trap in more air and therefore more heat. So even for like flight feathers, there are some differences. If you can see this. So these feathers right here on the outside, we call these primary feathers, right? And they're almost like as if the bird had little fingers. Like if you think about um, a turkey vulture that's soaring in the sky, a lot of times you can see them move their primaries and they do look like, look like little fingers. These here, we call these the secondaries. Now for flight, it's really important for birds to keep their feathers clean. So if a bird has a feather like this, like the bottom of this one, it's all kind of dirty and that dirt and that oil have caused it to clump up and maybe it's worn. That's no good. The bird is going to have to work twice as hard in order to fly. What they want is a nice clean feather. So in order to clean their feathers, birds do something called preening, which I'm sure you all have probably seen, right? The bird comes and runs its beak over the feather. And what it's doing is it's kind of zipping up those gaps that are in the feather. So if we have a gap like this, right, there are little microscop microscopic barbs that kind of connect the feather together and they inter interlock kind of just like um, a zipper on your jeans. So if there's a gap in the feather, the bird can just come with its beak and it's like it zips it right back up so no more gaps. Now of course when the feathers get really nasty, the bird eventually has to molt and then uh, grow new feathers. But in the meantime, it can preen. All right, so that's feathers with the Elsie Bates Museum. I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.